What is your favorite word or ac acronym in search marketing today? SEO. SEO. <laughs> what is your least favorite word or ac acronym? CPC. <laughs> what aspects of search and social turn you on? Connecting with people. <laughs> That's kind of what it's all about, right? What about search and social turn you off? Big egos. Okay, fair enough. Um, what is your favorite search tool or feature, search feature or tool, past or present? Majestic SEO. That's favorite, okay. Because I get all those links. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the love from Majestic SEO today. Um, what search feature do you hate the most? Search feature? Or tool. Like, what bugs you about SEO? What, what, what? Search plus your world. Search plus your world. <laughs> okay, I have to extend on that for a second. <laughs> Why? It's just, it's not Google. They're trying something to be what they're not. And what do you think Google should be? A search engine. Not personalized. Well, it's if I want to ask, if I want to see stuff that my friends, my circles, I have searched on or, or shared, I will ask them, like immediately. Remember my earlier answer, what I like about search and social is connecting with people. Okay. So I pick up the phone and, and ask him instead of, or ask on Twitter. Do you find that your circles are completely different between your search world and your personal world, that you'd like to have that separate? Yes and no. Uh, I actually haven't spent so much time on Google Plus other than trying to spam it. <laughs> How many of you have spent um, more than 25% of your time on Google Plus? Wow, I, I was being generous with 25%. That's only two of you. Okay. 25% of your, your time in the office or personally? <laughs> <laughs> your, your boss is not going to see this. <laughs> okay. That's a whole other topic for a whole other evening, I think. Okay. What is your favorite search term or keyword query to test algorithm changes against? I have a couple. Um, I'm using Coach Diaper Back, because that's a shopping term. Because that totally goes with your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. You can go to Coach Store if there's only one. Um, I'm using San Francisco because I have uh, one of my own sites in San Francisco. I use Ugly Christmas Sweater, because that's a seasonal term. In you tend to see different things. If you weren't doing this for a profession, what other profession would you most like to do? We talked about this earlier. I want to start a company. Any company, just you know, one physical. That, one that makes money. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not physically printing money, but <laughs> maybe you should do that. There is not a company. We can sell it on Facebook or eBay. I don't know. Well, Facebook's the only thing making money right now. We're selling for money, buying, buying companies for money. Yeah. <laughs> okay, final question. If heaven exists, and let's not rush anyone to that, to, to that area yet, and Larry Page is there, what would you like to hear Larry Page say if you see him in heaven? <laughs> Larry Page? I had to come up with somebody. <laughs> How about Matt Cutts? I don't want to have Matt Cuts. Again, I don't want to rush Matt Cuts to heaven, but he so should go there. Uh, <laughs> what did you do with the jumbo jet? <laughs> what did you do with the jumbo jet? From I hear they have a big jumbo and they park it in the NASA center next right. to their office. And it's like all redecorated. Doesn't have all those seats. So, so your real question to Larry Page is will you take me for a ride in the jumbo jet? To heaven. To heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean I go to heaven? <laughs> if you believe in such things. Okay. Well thank you, Dennis, for being our guest speaker tonight.